Component kits are the most important resource in scrap mechanics survival. They also seem to be the hardest to find when you need them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get component kits fastest in scrap mechanics survival. Now, as you can see, I have quite a few component kits in my backpack right now. Most of these were found in under two hours last night just by exploring the map. There's three places you can generally find component kits. First is from Haybots. Haybots drop them randomly, so you might find one from a Haybot, you might find one from every five or ten Haybots. It really depends on your RNG. The second place you can find them is warehouses. Warehouses is what you'll be exploring later on once you find a spud gun. Warehouses contain tape bots. Tape pets have a high drop rate of component kits. In fact, each one of them may drop one, I'm not sure, but they definitely have a much higher drop rate than the, than the Haybots. And last but certainly not least is supply crates and chests. Supply crates are either green or gold. The gold tend to have a higher rate of component kits while the green can also have them. And chests are the large green boxes you can search. They can also contain component kits. So one thing to note is the green crates from what I've seen spawn every five in-game days. So every two hours in real life that you play the game, the green supply crates will respawn. So be sure to go back to places you know have green supply crates, specifically the beginning area, which has quite a few of them. They all, that area also contains quite a few hay bots normally. So every two hours that you're playing the game, make sure you go back and check that area because you will find quite a bit of component kits as well as other resources that you might need, such as soil, chemicals, seeds, food, etc. Last night when we went back there and searched, we found about 17 component kits just from the two starting buildings and all the green supply crates around there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go drive around the map and just show you kind of what you should be looking for in terms of finding the green supply crates. All right, so we're just now, we're still driving around looking for some buildings to search, looking for some more component kits. And as you can see, there's a large building up on our left. Now this is a warehouse. This is where you're going to get lots of component kits later on, but you're definitely gonna need a spud gun or the spud shotgun or the Gatling gun before you go in there. So we are not going to go in this building. We're going to drive right on past it because the last thing we want to do is run into some tape bots with absolutely no spud gun because they will absolutely wreck you. There's no way. I, I don't think it's possible to take care of them with just the hammer. But we did find a giant building next to it. And this one actually looks different. I've never seen a building like this where it has the ramp on the hill next to it, so that's pretty cool. And we got a far, we got a Haybot. Haybot did not drop us anything. So let's just do this smartly. Let's take out each floor one by one so we don't miss anything. Batteries, gas. Good news is, while you're doing this, you're probably gonna end up finding quite a bit of food and gas, so you shouldn't run out of those. I just wanna make sure there's no Haybots down here. And look, this chest has a component kit. It's got some batteries in it, which you can use for electric engines. That's cool. Got another component kit. So that's two from this building and three from this building. So this is only the third building I think I've searched as I've been driving around. We found three from the first two and now three from just this one on the first floor. So that's, that's pretty cool. I'll be careful here by the entrance, so here's another Haybot. We're going to let him come out. The last thing you want to do when you're fighting a Haybot is get backed into a corner where they can just keep hitting you with a pitchfork. We'll get that scrap metal later. What? Oh boy, there's two of them. We're going to run away because we are actually in trouble here. And they're not going to stop chasing us, so... i got to let my health reheal. So we're just going to circle the building. Leave them not towards, <laughs> try not to lead them towards your vehicle, because if you lead them towards your vehicle, you're gonna end up having your vehicle get destroyed. We got our health back a little bit. Maybe we can, okay, we got, got rid of one of them. It's a 1v1 situation here. And yeah, so that's that's what happens when you, uh, when you run into a couple Haybots. And I only saw one of them, the other one ambushed me from the side over here. Oh, we got a banana. That's cool. Bananas are one of the rare fruits. You're gonna need those for trading later on. So. You find some bananas, blueberries, or oranges. Try not to eat them. Another component kit. That's four component kits from this one building so far. So we found the uh, the, the component kit vault building here. All right, just scoping out the area. Make sure there's no haybots. Because you definitely don't want the haybots knocking you off the building. That's how you end up having to respawn. And later on, if you're exploring further away from your... We got some potatoes. Potatoes are actually ammo in the game. 
If you start exploring further and further away, it's probably recommended to take a, be a bed with you on your vehicle. That is, uh, what is that? How many is that? Five or six? Oh, this building was just a jackpot here. We got a ton of component kits from this one building so far. Bam, another one and a blueberry. So this building was pretty solid. And we're pretty close to, uh, we're pretty close to home, to be honest. So let's take a look at our inventory right now. Yep, so I had, I had what? I think I had three or four. So we got about six or seven, I believe, from this building, which is awesome. So this is, that's a high number, so don't, and we, we missed one more crate, so maybe we'll get lucky. And we got another one, so yeah. I've only been driving around for about 20 minutes, and I've already found 12 component kits. So, like I said, if you have a group, you can definitely find more, and oh, there you go, there's another one. Well, not another one, but there's a, make sure you break all the hay bales that are laying around, because there could be supply crates underneath of them. So I've been dropping, I've been driving around for just about 20, 15 to 20 minutes. And I've already found 12 of them. So that was from three buildings. Now, if you know where the buildings are, because this is the, this is the world I've uh, only been playing on for a few hours. This is not the world I play on on my stream where we have about 35 to 40 hours on it. I don't know where all the buildings are yet, but once you know where all the buildings are, you can literally just set up a pattern of where you drive around and make sure you just hit all the buildings and you should be able to find lots of component kits. So as you can see, buildings tend to be the best place to find component kits. They seem to be the most reliable. Sometimes you might find zero, sometimes you might find one or two, and as is the case there, I found six or seven just in that one building. And had the Haybots dropped a couple, it would have been even more. So if you're looking for component kits, which at some point in the game, you're almost surely going to be doing it, the best way to find them is to explore the map and look around for buildings that are close by to where you're set up because they are going to have green supply crates as well as haybots. And let's take care of this haybot as we're driving back to our home base. So we can put our... And look, we actually got one from a haybot. So yes, they do in fact drop them, which is amazing. And yes, my car is running away from me, but that's okay. It's right down here and I know where I'm going. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel. Consider subscribing if you want more videos like this. And just a reminder, I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Milton. Link down in the description below. We have been streaming a lot of Scrap Mechanic Survival lately. Having a lot of fun with it. Been playing with some friends, which is awesome. And yeah, that's it. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.